Hi guys, this is David Concise Review. Today I'm going to go over three must-have apps that you need to get on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or whatever Android device you've got. Okay, so this is the first app, it's called Lockwatch and it's free on the Google Play Store and this is a security app which basically takes a picture of somebody using the front facing camera and also stores the location of the device if your unlock code is incorrectly entered. So that's whether it's an unlock pattern or a pin or whatever. So I'll show you how this works. If Michelangelo here, for example, tries to unlock my device by putting in the wrong unlock pattern, it's going to straight away take a picture using the front facing camera to catch him in the act and it's going to save the device's location and send an email to me straight away. Now one cool feature of this, um, it's likely that you're probably going to accidentally input the wrong unlock code yourself every so often so if you get it correct within 10 seconds of that it will disregard the email so that will stop your inbox getting clogged up. So if I go to my inbox now, you can see straight away at the top there I've got an email from Lockwatch, open that up and I've got the image of Michelangelo and the device's location saved so he's been caught in the act. This is a great app um, if you lose your phone, if someone steals it you'll be able to catch them or if one of your friends maybe has nicked your phone to try and update your Facebook status uh, you'll be able to catch them red handed so it's free, it just runs in the background and you won't even know it's there until you really need it so make sure you get that on your device. Okay, next up, this is an app that I've used for a while and it's developed quite a lot lately. It's called TeamViewer. It's free on Google Play. You also need to install it on any computer you want to use it with. That's also free and you need to set up a free account as well. So I'll put the link in the video description for this. What it basically does is it gives you remote access to your laptop or any other laptop that you've got set up on your account. So I'll click on Dave's laptop here. You can see it pop up on my computer. I'm taking control and you can see the instructions here so you can do anything you'd normally be able to do on a computer left click, right click, drag and drop, zoom in, zoom out etc. So I'll show you this working now so you can see the mouse indicator in the top left of my screen here if I scroll my thumb across my phone you can see it instantly move across my computer and I'll click a link here to show you how instant it is so I'll click on my videos and instantly as it updates on my computer it's updated on my phone screen as well so you've got complete control here you can of course type as well so if we type in the address bar open up the keyboard icon and we'll type in youtube.com I'll speed this up hit return and there you see as soon as it loads on the computer it's on my phone and even the video plays back on the phone screen as well now there's tons of uses for this I use it if I'm uploading a video and I'm away from my computer I can shut my computer down once it's uploaded and also if my mum calls me if she's stuck with something on her computer I can take control and sort it out for her save having to go around there. Now this is really simple to use straight out of the box as you can see but there are some additional settings so you've got the instructions on hand should you need them and you can also change some quality settings as well just to make sure you're getting the optimum performance out of it for you. There's also this windows icon which helps you perform general windows functions like opening the start bar um, and snapping apps should you wish to do that and then to close it just hit the cross in the bottom left hit close and it will thank you for using the free session on your phone and your computer so yeah TeamViewer make sure you get that on your phone it's a really useful app if you need to control your computer or maybe a relative's computer while you're away from it okay so the last app that we're going to look at today is called Glimpse this is also free on the Google Play Store and this is basically a great app for sharing your location with absolutely anybody and it's not just your current location it shows real-time movement of your whole journey so this is great if you're on a long drive home and you want to share that with your family or maybe you're running late for a meeting and want your colleagues to know when to expect you so if we open it up here you've got the option to request location if you know others with the app installed or you can share your own location so I'm going to kind of skip through this bit so that you don't see my contact contacts details but I've basically selected myself from a list of all my contacts and it's going to be emailed to me. You can then change the duration that it's live for so I'll select 45 minutes here. You can add a message, you can type in your own or choose from a custom list so I'll click almost there and then you can pick a custom destination if you want to share where you're heading to. I'm going to then share that so that's being emailed to myself right now. Excuse me while I cover up my email address. I should just say it's not only email, you can share this by, you can send it by SMS, you can post it on your Facebook, or you can just copy a link URL and paste that where you want. So I've just received the email, I'll click the link now, and it's going to open up the Glimpse page where you'll be able to see me on a map. And then once I've hopped in my car, you can see it's logging the journey. So it leaves a blue line for wherever you've been, 
and it also shows your speed in the top left so this is a great app one thing to keep in mind it does use your phone's GPS so you might want to make sure that your device is on charge and it does also rely on a data connection to be able to share your location but all in all this is a really cool app so make sure you get it on your device Okay, so there's three must-have Android apps you need to get on your device. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and hit this subscribe button and stay tuned for more concise reviews.